welcome back dear friends in our last class we have discussed about margin and padding so inside this class we are going to discuss we are going to just have a look to cursor properties how we can just change the cursor inside css so open the code editor and i have just already saved this page by giving the name cursor.html so i'm just going to remove all this extra coding from here for example this command i don't want this command here so other thing uh, maybe just i can just remove this till here and just apply a uh, curly braces save and launch this in the browser now we have just a simple box here and you can see this the default cursor so you can just write here i'm just writing here cursor and you can just pu put this on the default mode you can just save this and refresh but there is no changes because by default it is on default mode you can just change the value for example you can say pointer save and refresh so you can see this uh, now we have the hand option here it means that we have changed the cursor you can just uh, give different values for this you can just write here cell save and refresh now we have just a plus option here you can just write here something like uh, cross here save refresh so now we have just another cursor here uh, you can just uh, any one you can just apply here like zoom in zoom out zoom hyphen in it will just give you a zoom in now you can see and you can just apply here zoom out also save and refresh there are many like uh, i can just say for you there is copy mm, there is you can say help instead of copy save and refresh so you can see we have just changed many cursor options here so from here from where you can find all these properties just simply uh, write on the browser any browsers you uh, browser you are using sorry uh, css cursor properties property list and then enter you can just find the first uh, website this is called w3school.com and you can just find a bunch of just multiple properties for cursor like alias all the scroll auto sale just all this from here you can just apply for example i want just this progress you can just copy this and you can paste here and save go to your browser and refresh now you can see this on progress mode you can just apply any other for example uh, the text one control C and paste inside instead of progress save and refresh now you can see this just on text mode if you want no cursor option so simply you can just write here none save and refresh so now you can see there is no cursor on this box when I'm moving just this cursor inside I'm trying to move this inside this box so you can see it's just hiring because you have just set the value here none I'm just going to set this on default save and refresh now it is just on default you can just find all the properties from the w3school.com so simply write on the browser CSS cursor property list so you can find this on many other website also like this website this website you can just find here but the best one is w3score.com so i hope you are understand it is clear for you about cursor properties inside css so i hope you have enjoyed watching this video so my target my pur purpose is to teach you uh, just in better way uh, i'm just trying to make this course as complete as you want but anything uh, if you find anything uh, incomplete inside this course uh, this is just very simple you can just send me a message that uh, you have uh, 
for example about any topic that uh, you can see this incomplete uh, you can just ask me to record a new video always always i will be happy i will just record a new video i will be happy to add more content to this course because uh, i love my students uh, i really i really just love to help my students to learn to teach them better so in next class we will come back we will discuss about uh, outline so till next class have a nice time and see you